Hello and welcome back to another episode of Heroes of the Storm. It is me, the Blind Ferret, and today we are going to be playing as Diablo, or Dibbles as I like to call him. Um, I am joined today by my buddy Meryl. I know Meryl from World of Warcraft. He's a guildy. Uh, Meryl says Moo. He is a Moo cow. That's all he says. But Meryl, as he says something else, stop trolling me. But Meryl has um, requested that I play Dibbles today. He wants to learn about Dibbles. Now, do not uh, get the impression that yeah he just wants to learn how bad he is. So <clears throat> I will probably publish this game regardless of whether or not we went ready up, Meryl. Um, but more than likely, we're not going to win this just because Dibbles is a terrible champion right now. He got nerfed into the ground, uh, which was a sad day. He was a super strong melee warrior before. Uh, just now... <clears throat> Excuse me. He doesn't seem to have the HP to do his job. He does have synergy. That is correct. With certain champions, he's very good with Tyrande, for example. An overpower into a Lunar Flare is super strong. Um, but he's, he's kind of at that position. He's more like a bruiser now. Um, he does tons of damage. But he can't stay in the fights long enough. He 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 dies almost instantly. Um, you didn't know that? Yeah. I'll show you this game, buddy. Yeah, Dibbles Dibbles is capable of tons of damage. Um, we do have a pretty good team. No burst damage though. I do have another melee warrior to help split the front line with me, which is what Diablo needs. Um, Hopefully this game will go well and I can showcase his his ability to um, initiate fights and hopefully do decent damage. Um, there's a joke going around right now. He's no longer called the Lord of Terror. He's called the Lord of Weakness because he just fails at everything now. Um, one tip that I do want to tell everyone before you play Diablo... Um, Make sure that just because you can charge and overpower somebody, that you don't do it every single time. Um, pay attention to what your teammates are doing. Uh, you don't want to uh, just pretty much make their, their skills useless by um, messing up their combos with your, your CC and displacement. But uh, his Q... Okay, they have a Nova. Thank you for calling that out, buddy. They, His Q, Shadow Charge, he charges at somebody, knocks them back, uh, and they're stunned by 0.75 seconds. Or for 0.5 seconds, excuse me, and if you hit them into terrain, they're stunned a little bit longer. Um, since they have a Nova, actually, we're going to go for Soul Feast just so that we can get the extra HP. Uh, his W, Fire Stomp, it's an AoE. Damage of effect spell. That's it right there. And his E is overpower. What he's going to do is he's going to pick somebody up in front of him and flip them behind him. A very common combo that you'll see. Oh, ouch, ouch. Run, buddy. A uh, very common combo that you'll see Diablos do is they'll overpower somebody behind them and then charge them into their towers early game and then body block them to their death. As you can see right there. And that'll be first blood for us. And that's the strength of Diablo early game. Stay away from him and his towers. Um, it's crazy scary, especially with the Lost Vikings on your team. Just because they can body block like crazy too. Having four people just surround somebody that's in your towers. It's, it's a pretty scary thing. Who just died? Oh, we got killing and murdered. Good. Nova's here. They did shorten the knockback. I am noticing that on Diablo. It doesn't knock them near as far as he used to. But that's okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and start gathering some seeds down here. Careful up there, my friend. All in all, game's going extremely well. Um, 
Hopefully we can keep this going. Oh, I forgot to mention Diablo's trait. His trait is Black Soulstone. Uh, at 100 souls, Diablo will be able to instant res, or 5 second res time, or something like that. Kind of like Murky. Oh, uh, we need to get out of here. And, yep, yep. I messed that up. I should have been mounted. Bye-bye, fat man. Um, but if you're at max souls, as you can see, I'm at 27 right now, he'll, he'll res instantly. Um, at this level... We're going to go to Soul Catcher, just to make sure that we constantly... Oh, no. Bye-bye, Olaf. Just to make sure that we're constantly resing when we need to be. Plus, it helps us stack our trait, because um, every every Soul Stone that we collect is going to increase our, our maximum health by a decent amount. So, that will help a lot. Oh, good. Team's doing a good job getting seeds bought. Go ahead and punish this Nazebo here. Oh, the whole team's here. Getting a little bit of lag. That's alright. Go ahead and sippy cup. Get some health back. We are keeping them busy up here, which is allowing us to uh, let our team push mid. Get out of here, Nova. Go ahead and try to pick up this kill. Uh... Got him! Ha <laughs> uh, ha! At this level. Hmm. Let's see here. We're going to go for increased black soulstone health just to make ourselves even more tanky. 66%. That's a pretty big chunk. Go ahead and start pushing this top lane here. Our team is still pushing with that terror. Good for them. Very good job by our team. Um, and we're going to get some towers up here while they're busy down there dealing with the terror. Uh, whenever you have a terror for your team, it's always, always a good idea to try to split push. It makes them pretty much have to decide Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm sorry, Nazebo, I can't do anything for you, buddy. Good roots. Very good roots by the Malfurion. He just saved our Nazebo player. Very well done, sir. But it's always a good idea to split push when you have a terror, just because it makes them pretty much choose whether they want to deal with the terror or deal with your split push, and you'll always get something out of it. Uh, yeah, if you all go with the terror and support it, sometimes you can get more done in a single push, but nine times out of ten, it's better to split push. And we're just staying up here, soaking some XP, trying to get our team to level ten first. Right now, we got about two level advantage. Everybody loves Olaf. He's so cute and fat. Hi, Meriden. What you doing, buddy? Well, that was uncalled for, sir. Go ahead and grab this regen orb. Try to keep our mana up so that we can keep pushing. Um, this game's going exceptionally well. I don't usually have good games as the Lord of Weakness dibbles himself. But this one's going pretty well. My team's playing exceptionally well. Good for them. Um, at this level, we're going to go ahead and go Lightning Breath just for the increased damage. Oh, team, I'm coming. What's happening down here? We got a Nova here. And she's dead. Go ahead and try to get back here and peel for our Nazebo. Get out of here. Go on. Go on, get, dwarf. Okay, they are getting a terror right now.
Um, not much point in us dealing damage to them. Uh, Murden is just going to heal back up, so. I'll appeal for you while you get out of here. I'm going to go ahead and sippy, get some mana back, get some health. And then I will head to my team and try to help them. Um, Meryl, can you do me a favor and go deal with the enemy terror? Uh, your split damage should be able to take it down pretty fast. Go ahead and grab these up and then head top to try to get some more of these uh, seeds. We only need six more to get the next terror. Fun fact, just so you guys know, um, if you look down at the plants right now, oh, what is what do we got here? That was a good ult by the Rhaegar. I'll explain my fun fact here in a second. Nice long boat, sir. That's good stun by the Muradin. Uh, we do need to deal with that terror, though. It's just kind of getting free reign. As you can see right now, the plant on our bottom side of the screen was open. That means there's enough seeds on the map for us to be able to get a terror during this phase. And theirs was closed, so that means that they were unable to get a terror at that phase. Oh, the stun! No! Okay. I don't understand why I did wrong, but I did get stunned so I couldn't overpower. Go ahead and grab this terror and start pushing. Kind of just ignore this terror. I'm not sure why he's so upset. I was trying to help my team. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to successfully slow them down. Go ahead and get up here and start dropping some plants and get some siege damage done. Oh, they are all over me. At this level, um... I'm going to go ahead and go Life Leech, just so that we have the extra... Don't, don't run up there, don't run up there, they're all there. You can't kill this Jaina though. And while we were doing that, Tyrio did the right thing. Pushing bot. I'm coming, buddy. Oh, pathing, please. Ah, but because we do have a hundred souls, we are going to res instantly. We're already back up and in the fight again. Fortunately, that fight didn't go near as well as I had hoped. Um, it was a 4v5 though, so we probably shouldn't have engaged. Terio was down bot. That's alright. We'll go ahead and start farming our souls back. Alright. Alright, and go away. I just want to farm. What? Why are you so mean? Oh, come on now. What is this hate? Oh, seriously? <laughs> it's murdered! 
<laughs> One's my body. That's okay. Which I'll trade a one for two. Yep. That's what you get. Greedy douchebag? I don't understand the hate. He apparently doesn't like dibbles. That's alright, though. We're fine. Uh, like I said, I'll take a, a two for one any day. Run, Malfurion! Run, Chicken Man! Nice roots. Very nice roots. I am on my way to help. That was a very good ultimate by the... Oh. Ha <laughs> The flip into the terror stun. Will secure the kill for us. And we'll go ahead and... Keep picking up some more seeds. We could actually go down and get the other one and possibly have another tear. Terriel has the same idea as me. Uh, I do need to pick a talent here. I'm not... Uh, where are you going, Zebo? No, leave me alone, Jaina! Um, at this level, there's a few things that you can do. Uh, Rampage is where he gets a lot of his damage, and probably what I'm going to be taking, because I don't really have a ton of auto attackers. So yeah, we'll, we'll go with that instead of uh, Imposing Presence. And uh, we're about to have our 100 souls again. Which will allow me to res if I die again. Uh, very close game. Only a two level advantage on our favor. But we only have a, a four kill lead. Most of our EXP is coming from structures. Oh, careful guys. Run, Eric! Oh, he's so swift. Oh, look at him go. Yeah, that dwarf toss is going to... If he doesn't dodge that... Yep, there it is. Goodbye. I'm on my way. Oh, Nova. Run, Tyrael. Okay, fine. You miss. Um, looks like our Malfurion needs a little bit of assistance. Teams rotating to help him, and I will start getting more souls. Go ahead and try to cut off. Uh, they're probably doing, yeah, they're they're doing their. Buddy. This Tyrion is a little negative, isn't he? It's alright. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start farming up the souls again. Biggest issue with Dibbles, once you die, you lose all of what makes you be able to do your job. Um, so I will... Unfortunately, we are unable to get a terror this phase, but they are. So we do need to get in here and stop this from happening. Start picking up some seeds. Nazebo's coming around. Oh, 
Jaina, please leave me alone. She's so mean. Now kill that Nova. Oh, thought Teo was going to get out of there. He didn't quite make it out. Um, at level 20, hmm. I'll go the upgrade to the ultimate. Why not? Yeah, these minions kind of left, uh, were left to go too long. They did get a lot of damage dealt. Definitely worth the value. Yeah, Dibble's kind of good early game, late game. Just kind of falls off. But, uh, Meryl, take a look at the damage sheet, bro. See what I'm talking about? Dibble's capable of doing tons of damage. Yeah, there's there's a reason why I don't like playing Dibbles. He's just not in a good spot right now, unfortunately. Um, let's see here. Let's get this. Let's see. Everything has been taken. All objectives are done. Um, pretty much just need to stay together and hopefully get a pick. Uh, they are split right now. We might be able to catch the Meriden out as he comes up. Nope. Didn't get there in time. Totally worth it. I'll take that death. Very well done, team. Oh, yeah! Look at that two-year-old going deep. Break down that wall for him to get out. Good job, guys. That was a very good team fight for us. That flame breath. Mmm, so much damage. And they just... I don't know why they focus me, but I will accept it. That's going to be good game, guys. Uh, very well played by my team. And that's how you play Diablo. Unfortunately, I didn't quite have 100 souls, so I wasn't able to re-res right away. Which would have made that even better. Um, Material, stop being BM. <laughs> but, uh, look at Eric! He's so swift! It's tanking that core. Instant dead, <laughs> Jada. But good game. I hope you all enjoyed the, the gameplay. And that's pretty much how you play Diablo. Everybody cares about Eric. That's a terrible thing to say, Meryl. Eric's the best. But uh, I hope you all enjoyed the gameplay. Uh, here's the stats. Top hero damage on the team. I even out damaged in the Zebo, which is <laughs> Yeah, he's always not dead because he's so swift. But anyways, here's here's the uh, the um stats. I did have a lot of deaths, but unfortunately that's part of being the Lord of Weakness right now. He doesn't have the survivability to maintain in fights. Malfurion did do a good job in that last team fight of keeping me alive long enough to get out almost all of my damage and uh, allowed them to focus me for a long time but as you can see I, I can't even well I did actually tank a lot of damage compared to their Muradin which is kind of surprising but here's the talents uh, I went full tank with a little bit of damage um, soul feast black soul stone increases your health regen by 3% per soul uh, then Soul Catcher at level 4, Black Soul Stone passively generates a uh, soul every 4 seconds. Uh, soul Steel increases the amount of health gained from Black Soul Stone by 66%. Lightning Breath just because it's an amazing ultimate. Especially if they stand in it like they did that last team fight. Um, tons of damage. And 320, that's at level 1, so it scales ridiculously. Um, 
Level 13, Life Leech. Basic attacks against enemy heroes deal bonus damage equal to 1% of their maximum health. Good counter to the Muradin. Um, plus it heals me for the same amount, so it was a good source of healing. Uh, Rampage. Fire Stomp increases Diablo's movement speed by 20% and basic attack damage by 50% for 2 seconds. That's where a lot of your damage comes from, that talent right there, that and your ultimate. Um, when you use your Fire Stomp and you have Rampage, you are literally hitting for almost 400 in auto attack on Diablo, which is ridiculous for a tank to be able to hit that hard. And then we went the upgrade to his ultimate. Lots of people like Lord of Terror, uh, the AoE, Blood for Blood. It's alright. 10% health isn't a huge big deal and it's kind of hard with how much CC they had for me to get into the middle of the fights so it wouldn't have been near as beneficial as that extra range and extra duration on my ultimate which did a ton of damage in that last team fight um, but hopefully you all enjoyed the gameplay um, hopefully I showed you guys exactly how you should play Dibbles um, but as always if you enjoyed it like subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one bye bye thanks for coming Meryl say bye Meryl? I said say bye, not hi. You're so rude. <laughs>